Welcome back to the League of Legends Championship Series Spring Split. I'm joined here by Carl Dentist Krai, German coach of the Copenhagen Wolves. This is the first time that we're chatting to you on the side stage, so I'd like to ask you a question I pose to all of our coaches. What is unique about your coaching style when it comes to your team and your organization? Well, I don't really know if it's unique, but I see myself as like an um, all-round weapon. So I try to help the players with whatever they need. Obviously, my main focus is on getting them to play the, ba the game better, and I'm working with my analysts very closely on that. And I think we made some good progresses this year. Yeah, so that's actually an interesting note. Copenhagen Wolves are two and three on the split, but the two games you guys have won, you could argue, is because of your opponent's mistakes. How would you respond to critics saying that the Copenhagen Wolves are not performing particularly well in the spring split? Well, ending the games in 60 minutes is kind of boring, so we always go with the 50-minute games to make it more exciting for the games. That doesn't work so well, because it kind of like it stretches out to the boring area, but we get, we get you excited in the future. I'm pretty sure about that. That's a fantastic attitude. Um, I've got another question that is also a little bit harsh. We've had some analysts on the desk talking about how the LCS is getting better and better with each split. You guys introduced Freeze into the lineup coming into 2015, but there's been a few people saying that other players on the roster are not improving with the rest of the league. Do you think that's a fair assessment of your team? Well, I, of, of course I disagree. Like, that's not a fair assessment because I see them trying their hardest each and every single day. Like, we train for at least eight hours a day of, like, pure team practice. And alongside that comes a lot of solo queue play and a lot of, like, getting better mechanically as individuals. And they're really trying their hardest. So I don't say, I, I wouldn't agree with that statement. Fair enough, fair enough. Now, as we were getting ready for the uh, interview, I noticed both the Unicorns of Love and the Copenhagen Wolves standing backstage, hanging out, chatting away. You guys seem very friendly, despite the fact you're enemies in this game. Uh, what's the mindset like facing off against your opponents? Well, I don't know what you saw, but actually we don't like them. Like, have you ever seen a unicorn and a wolf in natural habit not fighting each other? I didn't. <laughs> Thank you very much for the interview, Dentist. You're welcome to join your team for Picks and Bands. Thank you again. <laughs> I don't know how to respond to that. A unicorn and a wolf. Now, as we jump into the matchup, Unicorns of Love joined the LCS amid all of the excitement and expectation of those crazy picks. But Soren from the Copenhagen Wolves feels that the Unicorns are going to play the standard meta. I think they're still in the honeymoon phase, honestly. Like, they're all great friends and they haven't really bumped into a big issue yet. We scrim them a lot and we know what uh, they're capable of. Uh, so we will see, like maybe they got some good picks coming up. I think they're just as good playing standard. Like obviously the the off meta picks were catching people off guard. Um, but I think they can definitely handle the best teams just with standard picks. 